Hey guys, what's up? Jeremy LaFrance with Backstage Entertainment, sitting here with Matt Noveski of Blue October. Matt, how's it going? Really good. How really are you good. doing, man? You're, uh, you know, just about to perform here tonight. We're at the Mid-America Center here in Council Bluffs, Iowa. Uh, you guys were brought here by 89.7 The River. Mm -hmm. um, what's, what's kind of been the day like for you so far? Um, well, this is the biggest venue on, on this tour by far, definitely the biggest crowd. So it's, it's been a great tour, but we've done a lot of, like, you know, medium-sized clubs, some smaller clubs, which we haven't done in a while, you know, some bigger clubs, mixed it up a lot. But it's like when we got here today, everybody was like, yes, this is, this is nice. Yeah. Like, you know, it's, it's nice to have catering and, and, you know, the whole spread. Um, but this is like not only, you know, Beyond that, Omaha and Council Bluffs, this area has been like a second home to this band for a really long time. Yeah. The the River and uh, Sophia in, per, in particular have supported this band since day one. And uh, so whenever we come back here, we got lots of old friends and it feels like family, you know, it's like a, it's a second home. Yeah, I know the, the crew at the River do their best and they bring a lot of big names here and then yeah. You know, bringing you guys is awesome. Everybody's looking forward to it. We've heard about it for months now that you guys are going to be down here. So they're doing a great job, I think. Yeah. Uh, do you know the really uh, Blue October? I mean, the cre a very creative name. Do you know the story behind that one? Um, that was actually, you know, the inception of the band was a couple years before I came on board. Right. But, you know, what I gather is that um, the band was formed uh, during a time in Justin's life, uh, which was the month of October. Um, when he was dealing with a lot of issues and I think that he finally just said you know what I'm gonna make something positive out of everything that's going on and and I'm gonna turn it into something creative and that was the beginning of the band and, and it was a very blue October for him but right. it's what it became so there is a deeper yeah. meaning behind it there so. is a meaning behind it yeah <laughs> that's right. we, we you know we've been asked that before and there's definitely some jokey answers to that one but that's that's the legit that's, answer right okay. there we're gonna go with it. Then. Yeah, that's a legit one. All right, you guys have just released your sixth studio album called "Any Man in America." Mm -hmm. I mean, how uh, and what are the fans ex supposed to ex expect from this album compared to your others? You know, being your sixth one and everything, how yeah. does it differ from your other five? Um, well, I think every, I think all of our our records are pretty different from one to the next, um, and they're all autobiographical. You know, they're all a direct reflection on what's going on in in, in our lives and in Justin's life in particular. Um, and this record is, I think it's our heaviest record to date. Okay. You know, it's definitely the most intense, uh, and it's the most polarizing. You know, I think that people either really attach to it or seem very not disconnected but are, are, are you know kind of like wow i don't know that's that's a bit much for me or that's that's not yeah you know but um but it's honest and it's real and, and it's what has happened in the last couple of years of his life and and that's what we're out here talking about you know we, we don't we don't want to go out and tour and just talk about things that don't matter or mean anything to us you know so so i would say that this record is um it, it's 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 very much involved with what Justin's been dealing with, which is um, uh, shared parenting, shared parenting laws. Um, you know, just trying to get the opportunity to be able to be a father, and um, the laws are—they're uh, not perfect. You know, nothing's perfect, but um, there's a lot of room for improvement. And so, this record is not only uh, a piece of music it's also a vehicle for us to try to make some changes okay. okay so there's a cause behind it as well okay great now out of all of the blue october songs because we just said you have six studio albums what do you think is your favorite if you could pick one wow uh my f i think my favorite one is quiet mind um okay. It's just something about that song. I love playing it. I love listening to it. I love the way it turned out. Um, it's just a great song. I think it's a beautiful song. I think lyrically it really it touches me. And um, I think m most importantly, though, I love playing it. I yeah. love to play that one on stage, man. That, that always puts me in a good mood. So, What is the feeling like when you get out there and play in front of, especially like a crowd like tonight? What it Man, what goes through your head? It's great, you know. I mean, it's it's validation, you know, that what you're doing has that it has meaning and it has purpose, and that that people care, you know, that people give up, you know, that they show up. Uh, it makes you it makes you feel good. It makes you feel like what you're doing ha has a real purpose, and 
and when that's your life and that's your job and that's you know it's 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 uh it's important that that it that it makes sense and that it all comes together and so getting out there and seeing all those faces every night like i said it's validation and and we all love it and we're just thankful man we're yeah. we're not young kids you know we're we're all pretty old guys and we're lucky to be able to to do this and do it as long as we have and to have people keep showing up and keep paying attention and and go out there and hang out all night with us is it means a lot yeah. it really does all right for the next part of the interview like i mentioned to you mm -hmm. we have what's called our bsc box where we've had fans find us on facebook you guys can do that too go like backstage entertainment you can submit qu questions to bands we interview and they're going to draw your questions out so go ahead and draw in there and see what we get here we go all right first one is Oh wow! <laughs> That's a good this one. is great. Uh, who has been the best and worst band to tour with? Um, man, I you know I don't want to be so diplomatic and uh, and too politically correct, but I don't think that there's a clear cut best band. Right. There are a couple that for me personally it just seemed like on tour the vibe was really there, and we we've stayed friends with. Um, the guys in Longwave are a band that we that we love, and and actually Steve from Longwave played on our record, and those okay. guys, man, we just really clicked with them, and and we were already fans of the band, so that was great. Um, there's been so many uh, Switchfoot, you know, like Tim from Switchfoot and I were just texting each other yesterday, just saying, hey, I hope you're well, and those guys were just sweet, you know, wonderful human beings, so much fun to play with. Shiny Toy Guns was great. Um, you know, in, in the band that we're out with right now, we're actually out with a couple, and, and they're fantastic, man. It's like a big family. Um, but it, there's a two-piece band called I'm Dynamite that, that is out with us right now that is uh, an up-and-coming band that's, they're unbelievable. And we, act, you know, we watch them every single night. We go outside stage, I, you know, I love watching them. Yeah. I'd, I'd go to see the show anyways. Right, so. right. Yeah. So, uh, not not brave enough to say the worst band, huh? I we really haven't had anybody wanted to say the worst band yet, so it's well, probably your call. <laughs> it's um, we've never really there's never really been a band that we've done a whole tour with that we just didn't like or that we yeah. hated or you know I mean we we're pretty, I think we're pretty approachable, pretty easy to get along with guys in general, um, but we've done some festival shows where we've definitely not had the greatest experiences with some bands. Um, you know, there was one. There was one band in particular that uh, um, I'm. It was so long ago. I'm sure they're great guys and everything, but they just weren't very friendly. Okay. Uh, we'll say for the question's sake. Can you drop the name? Yeah, it, ry it rhymes with 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 Rod Rack. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Or Smod s Smack. <laughs> That's about all I'm gonna say. They weren't bad guys. They just they weren't. I don't think they liked us very much. Gotcha, gotcha, yep. All right, let's try another one here. Oh, okay. We're going to keep going. There's a lot of More. questions there in here, are. man. What do we got next? Oh, wow. This is, a, I've never, I've never heard this before. This is great. If you could be any other band for one show, who would you be? Hmm. I would say I would like to be you too. Okay. And... Um, not just because I'm a fan of the band, but the claw, the thing. Have you seen what they're using on this this last tour that they're doing? It's called the 360 tour. Okay. Um, the stage setup is the most ridiculous, coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. And I just for one night would love to be on that stage and play and experience it. I mean, yeah. it just looks absolutely incredible. See what the kind of fans and the show that they perform. I mean, yeah, I've never, never played in front of a crowd like that before. That would be crazy. awesome. Yeah. You want to go for one more? Yeah, yeah let's, do, let's do another one. I'm going to dig. Um, oh, this is a good question too. Uh, it says, "Any regrets for choosing to be a musician?" Absolutely not. Um, I don't think that. I think that artists um, don't really choose to. They get chosen to do what they do. That's just what. That's what we're meant to do in life. You know, those of us who who do it as long as we do, we're lifers. You know, and it, like I, you know, my wife and I have, have talked about many times, and she's so supportive and understanding. <clears throat> but it's uh it's it's this is what I do you know there's I mean it's like what else am I gonna do you know go work at Home Depot or something I mean it's like being a musician is all I really 
really have have wanted to do and really cared about since I was little. Um, I grew up in a really musical family, and then even you know when I went to school, I just didn't pay attention. I didn't care. You know, all I cared about was performing, and all I cared about was writing music, and and that was my life. So. I'm very thankful and very gracious to be able to do what we do and, and yeah. you know, to make to make a, a, a living at it and make a modest living and be able to provide for my family and um yeah, I'm I'm lucky, you know. Most people absolutely hate their jobs, yeah. <laughs> it seems like and I love mine. It's right. great. So right. All right. Well, once again, we are sitting here with Matt Noveski of Blue October. Guys, definitely go check him out. Uh, website for the fans to check you out. Just blueoctober.com. Uh, just blue yeah. Pretty easy. Check them out, guys. Hey, everyone. Make sure to like Backstage Entertainment on Facebook to see our photos, to enter yourself into contests for autographed prizes, and other news. Also, make sure to click the subscribe button on YouTube to check out the rest of our videos. And you can find us on Twitter to get updates about what we're doing. For Backstage Entertainment, this is Jeremy LaFrance.